my honeys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my march favorites yes <laughs> i was gonna say april my march favorites i have a lot of goodies here that i really want to share with you guys that i've been obsessed with and i feel like you should probably pick some of these products up so before we do get started if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel as well as hit that little notification bell which also notifies you every single time that i upload a new video um, and you can check out what i posted as well follow me on instagram if you have not been following me yet i post there i try to post there every single day and be really consistent um, so definitely follow me on there i do post a lot of makeup looks um, and yeah so if you are new hi my name is sandy harkeen and thank you for joining us today let's go ahead and get started so i really can't believe you guys that it's already march like it honestly blows my mind to know that it's already march like march no it's already the end of march and it's gonna be april already <laughs> that's what i mean <laughs> um and i am so excited because that just means that it's almost summertime it's almost for that sunshine here in oregon which we really lack on sunshine but at least in Oregon we get all the seasons right so the very first product that I want to mention to you guys is perfume now whenever I buy a perfume I normally stick to one and I, that's what I buy constantly I used to wear the I think it was a Vera Wang princess perfume back in high school I used to buy that every single time because it was like my favorite perfume and then I moved on to my YSL one but I don't remember the name of it which I'll post a picture here and I'll also listen down below if you guys are interested in that perfume but that one smells so good and then I saw this one and this one is from YSL as well and this is their Mon Paris Paris I believe perfume and which I will also list it down below for you guys if you're interested but it smells so bomb oh I love like florally like scents um scents I said yeah. Oh, it smells so good and it honestly lasts a very long time. I personally really love YSL perfumes I just feel like they smell so good. A lot of people always compliment me whenever I wear this perfume So I absolutely love this. Now the next thing that I want to go ahead and point out are shoes Hi. <laughs> On Instagram I did do I posted a video on my IG stories and I bought these shoes you guys are from now Si estoy patona, okay, this is an eight and a half I think it's eight, half or nine. What is this? Oh, it's a nine. It's a nine. Um, but I, I'm usually an eight or an eight and a half or a nine, depending on the shoe. My foot is really, really weird. I don't know why. That is like sometimes I'll buy a size nine and they're too big, and then sometimes I'll buy an eight or an eight and a half and they are too small, so I have to go up to a nine, or vice versa. Um, but I. I thought that these shoes were super cute, you guys. I got them at Forever 21. If you live in Oregon, I got them at the Clackamas Town Center. I love really weird, funky shoes. Um, oh, bless you, Coco. I like really funky, crazy shoes. Um, I like different um, styles of shoes. Like I don't really like to have what everybody has sometimes. And the cool thing is about these shoes is that they are super comfortable. I think it's because lo de abajo, like it's like rubber, but like I feel like I won't like slip inside everywhere or look like un gato espinado. You know what that means? Do you guys know what that a gato espinado means? I feel like it's like those girls that don't know how to walk in heels and they're just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> so I personally hate looking like that whenever I wear heels. I always go for more of a chunky heel um, or not too, too skinny, but I like a good grip on my heel so that way I don't look like that and I want to be comfortable as well. So I thought these were super adorable. You can pair them up with a skirt or like jeans, ripped jeans, like I don't so know. So enough with that kind of stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in with makeup. So I recently seen these little sponges from Real Techniques. So they're so little and I love these to blend my concealer underneath. I also got some for my clients and I tried them for the first time because I, I've seen them in stores um, a while back but I finally bought them to kind of play with them and when I played with them on my clients like it just makes a huge difference um, compared to using a bigger sponge like it's really little so it can really get into those areas and really blend out the concealer really nicely um, without this being super huge you know and I feel like I can get in there really nicely um, the next thing that I want to point out you guys is these eyeshadows from wet and wild if you guys haven't seen 
seen my recent video well not recent but i did a makeup tutorial using their rebel rose collection um you guys will definitely really appreciate these palettes like they are so so good i feel like the pigmentation is perfect i play with these already multiple times and i honestly can't get enough of how really like pigmented they are um and also for being a drugstore product i feel like they blend out to perfection and they really you know remind me of a high-end eyeshadow that i feel like wet and wild did such a good job with these palettes that i wanted to mention those for you guys because i've been using those non-stop this past month so the other next palette that i want to mention to you that i've been playing with a lot recently too is the huda nude palette now I also did a review on Huda Beauty's eyeshadows um, a while back and I felt like um, I didn't really give it a fair shot because I only used the little one and that was like my first time ever using Huda Beauty ones. I've never actually bought in her bigger size palettes um, because one, I feel like they are super expensive. I think this is like $65 so I'm like... Holy, that's really expensive. Um, so I went in, I wanted to buy the little ones just to kind of give it a try. But then I bought this one and I feel like it worked so much more better than the other palette that I was playing with. This is the palette that I actually have on my eyes today. Um, I use these shades here, um, but I also used my um, Anastasia Rivera palette to create this eyeshadow look. Um, but I feel like these colors are the ones that I have on my eyes right now and it just looks really, really pretty. I've been just really obsessed with this palette that I wanted to share it with you guys too. For face palettes, I got this in my BoxyCharm and it's the Cover FX. Um, this is their Perfector face palette and it's in the shade Light Medium. I use this, you guys, for everything. Um, of course, it has the contour shade, it has the blush, highlighters as well. This is what I have on my cheeks currently and I just love this bronzer right here. It's like the perfect gray undertone. It's not too yellow. It's not too red or too orange. Like it's perfect for my fair skin um, and I really really enjoyed this palette. If you guys don't have BoxyCharm you guys should definitely look into it. Um, it's not even that expensive. I believe it's like $21 um, a month and you get full size products up to like four to five products that are full size like this. Um, and then for more blushes um i recently went to mac cosmetics now if you guys don't know if you are a professional makeup artist and you have a website you have your business cards um, and all that you can definitely sign up for a pro discount card i get right now um i believe it's 40 percent yeah i get 40 percent because i signed up as a makeup um, artist um, and so I you get discounts girl like definitely take advantage of that if you are a professional makeup artist it definitely saves you so much money and it really helps to to build your kit um, and so I recently went to my local Mac store and I got four blushes um, and I bought them and I put them in a little palette like this but I've been loving these combinations like they are so so pretty um, I just started using I mean I've used these in the past because I used to work for Mac um, so, but I recently bought this about two weeks ago, um, and I really, really, like, love MAC blushes. I forgot how good they are until I recently purchased some, and I was like, I love them. And then the other thing that I want to mention to you guys, too, is this contour palette by KKW Beauty, and this is also their light one, um, and I love this palette so much. I use these bronzer shades a lot really really frequently um throughout these past few months actually not just the month of march but i have been using them for past months and i really 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 like this palette and the reason why i also like this is because i feel like you get a lot of product like i've been using this you guys seriously like not even lying to you every single day i use this palette every single day to apply my bronzer and to warm up my contour and i still i haven't even hit pan yet and i got this in december um, for Christmas, so I have still have a lot of product. Um, I don't really touch the highlighter shades the vez en cuando, but not really. I use more for the bronzers here in the palette. It's really, really good. Like, it's a hit and miss with some products, but for the most part, they have really, really good um, items. Like this concealer that I'm going to mention from KKW Beauty. I think I've already mentioned this in my last 
favorites video, but I really enjoy the consistency of this concealer. It also, it's really, really good coverage, but what I really like about it is that it blends really, really good into the skin. Um, I have bought a few also for clients, and when I, when I have them look in the mirror, sometimes when I'm doing this, like, they're just, like, blown away, and they're just like, oh my god, like, it looks so smooth, and, like, it's laid really nice on the skin. Um, so I personally really love their concealers. The only thing that I don't like is that it's very small and you have to buy you know frequently um, porque está bien chiquito. I wish that they would make these a little bit bigger uh, with more product um, but I mean I see venden you know what I mean <laughs> I always use my airspun to bake my face or just like set my makeup so that way it doesn't go anywhere but I to dust it off I do go into my cover girl this is the, this is their new full spectrum all day powder foundation um, this is in the shade um, light neutral um, and I use this to dust away my um, airspun and I love this powder you guys so much to also touch up throughout the day now when it comes to powder foundations you want to make sure that you're only using just a little bit because it can come off to be very very cakey I've done that before and it's horrible so only using a little bit to just dust off the powder it really gives you a nice airbrush effect um, now for lashes you guys I have been a sucker for lashes I know that a lot of you guys have been like oh my gosh what kind of lashes are you wearing like those are so nice for the most part some of the lashes that I that I wear that I don't mention down below or mention on Instagram those are bought from a chinita that I um, met in um, I met when I went, um, tenía su puestecito and she had tons of lashes that you guys can literally pick from. She was selling them three for $15. I literally bought a lot. <laughs> um, and so... I am thinking of also coming out with my own lash line. Um, I don't know exactly when. I'm still kind of doing a lot of, you know, figuring out what I want to get my feet wet in. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. When the time comes, then I'll definitely let you guys know. But for the most part, a lot of those lashes are from that chinita. <laughs> Um, but I have been using these lashes constantly. Now this is from Lurela, and this is um, this is her lashes in the style um, Alexis. And so they're really nice, simple, and fluffy, but yet they're still on the wispy side. So I really like this style. And then recently too, my girl came out with some new lashes. She's from here, from Salem, and it's my girl Blanca Flor. And this style is called So Me, and I just love the way that these lashes look. These are a little bit on the longer side, um, but they're still wispy. And I don't know, whenever I put these on, I just feel like my makeup is just like my eye is snatched especially when i do a nice bronzy makeup look or eyeshadow look and i put these on i'm like yes bitch yes <laughs> now for brows i know that a lot of you already follow anastasia Biller hills if you guys don't you are living under a rock but they recently came out with these um dip brow gels and this is what i have on my eyebrows right now i am obsessed with this product you guys it honestly is better than the dip brow it doesn't dry as fast you can definitely have plenty of time to play with it um and i feel like it, it once it's on the brows like it doesn't go anywhere like it stays there and it just looks really natural which is something that I really like. I still use my Benefit one, which I'm gonna mention as well. And this is their Cabral Benefit. This is their dip brow. It does dry pretty fast because it is a dip brow product. Um, but I also like the way that this leaves my eyebrows. I literally can go swimming and this is not gonna budge either. Um, so I, these are my two favorite brow products at the moment. Get your hands on these brow products. You guys are definitely gonna change your life. I promise you. Now for lip products, you guys. I've been obsessed with this lip color. This is from Sigma and this is their think anti-venom liquid lipstick it is the one that i'm currently wearing right now and i feel like it's like the perfect like rosy nude liquid lipstick i just love the way that this looks especially when you pair it up with like a nice light brown lip pencil which i this is what i have on right now it just looks so stunning and then when you apply a liquid like a nude gloss on top of this as well it just looks so beautiful and i've been obsessed with the formula too from sigma lately they're um I don't know how to explain it like it doesn't go anywhere and it feels very comfortable on my lips like I literally don't feel like I have a desert on my lips um 
they when I move my lips around or I eat and all that good stuff or I give my husband a kiss they literally do not budge so I've been really in love with that shade for foundation I've been really obsessed with the covergirl full spectrum matte ambition foundation and then the l'oreal infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation this is the one that I currently have on today um, and I love it I am so obsessed you guys with drugstore foundations at the moment I play with a lot of high end foundations in no mas I just can't find the one that I'm like I have to wear that every single day you know what I mean um, and I feel like the drugstore foundations have seriously been taken over um, my next one I'm looking at it right now that one's also really good but I don't know what it is with these two lately like I've these are the ones that I reach for every single day I even been wearing these out as well for like special occasions um, so I don't know I've also been trying this one too and this is the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra longwear foundation it's really good but I feel like it's not as good alone like I, I, I honestly like to mix this foundation in with these ones too um, I love overall personally I love mixing my foundations for the most part these are like my my go-to's also, there is this dewy set um, setting spray by Anastasia. I am so in love, you guys, with this spray for girls who have dry skin. You have no idea. So I don't use it for myself because you all know that I have um, combo to oily skin. Um, but for my girls who have dry skin, this is definitely amazing unless you really like that dewy look and you have oily skin you you want that look then i definitely recommend this spray uh, but i've been using this for clients recently who do have more on the drier side um skin and let me tell you guys it definitely smooths the skin really nicely um before um so i prep it and then i'll put this on before i apply any foundation any powders or anything and then at, towards the end as well um i had this one girl who had really super dry skin that I had to have her exfoliate before I did her makeup application because it was like really dry and I can see like a little bit of like flakes on her skin um so I asked her nicely to go ahead and wash her face and so I prepped the skin and everything and then I applied this and I just felt like it melted into her skin so nicely like I have no words to explain it um and then after I applied the powders, the creams and everything, and I uh, I only sprayed just a little bit because I had already sprayed a lot before. Um, and I don't know, her the powders melted in really well with her skin and then fin um, adding that for the last final touch, I just feel like it all came together and her skin looked so glowy and just really, really pretty. If you are a makeup artist, I definitely recommend to have this in your kit. Um, I'm obsessed. <laughs> all right, you guys, and that's pretty much it for today's video on my March favorites. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below, you guys, and let me know what video you wanna see next. Um, los quiero mucho, besos, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.